For number 11, we are going to find one of the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 4x is equal to 12. And we have to know that the word roots just means the solutions for the equation. In this video, I wanted to show you guys how we can use the answer choices to help us get the right answer for this question. And you should check out my next video on how we can solve the quadratic equation by factoring. So here we have 5 possible x values, and what we need to do is pick one of them and plug it into the x value in the original equation, and then work out the computation. If we end up with 12, then we know that's the answer. And let's just begin by maybe we can start with x is equal to negative 6 on choice A first. So what we need to do is just plug in negative 6 into this x and that x, and then work out the computation to see if we end up with 12 or not. Let's open the parentheses, plug in negative 6 into this parentheses, and then we have to raise this to the second power, and then continue with that by subtract 4 times x, the x is negative 6, so I open the parentheses and then put in negative 6. This will be pretty much a setup. I have to check if this is equal to 12 or not. So we just have to work this out right here. So work out the power, negative 6 to a second power means we have to do negative 6 times negative 6. We have positive 36. And then negative 4 times negative 6. That will end up with positive 24. And do we get 12? Right here. Well, 36 plus 24, that will give us 60. Of course, this is not 12. And this tells us that choice A is not the answer. And now we have four more choices. We just have to pick one of them and then plug into the equation and do the check again. Let me just pick B. So we are saying, is x is equal to negative 2 or not? I will plug in negative 2 into this x and that x. So we have the x squared. Let me put down, open the parentheses, and then raise to a second power. Inside, we have the negative 2. And this was for choice A. This is for choice B. Okay. And we continue. We have the minus 4 times the x. So open the parentheses. x is negative 2. And then do we end up with positive 12? So we work this out first. Negative 2 in the parentheses to the second power means we have negative 2 times negative 2. We will get positive 4. And then negative 4 times negative 2. That will give us positive 8. Do we get 12? 4 plus 8. Of course, that's equal to 12, right? So we got our answer. Choice B is the correct answer to this question. That's it.